Okay, my name is Jürgen Brack. I'm responsible for all the uh, driving dynamic systems of the new BMW X6. And Jürgen, you're going to tell me now and show me what, how the chassis works on the new BMW X6. We have uh, several different actuators in the car. For example, uh, the active steering, which is, uh, which is driven by the ICM. A central control unit. And which is located is just, in the middle of the car. And it's right in, it's just one little sensor that is it's, the brain. It's uh, not a sensor, it's a, a control unit, it's a little computer that, uh, which calculates all the, the signals and uh, the torques which is needed to give the driver the best driving experience. Let's see what it does when you put on the dynamic performance control. The dynamic performance control is the new rear axle gear which is also actuated by the ICM system. It is, it is located in the rear axle and uh, is able to, to uh, shift torque from one side to the other side on the rear axle. And then what about the active steering? The active steering is, uh, is a steering system uh, which can switch to different steering ratios and is also actuated by the ICM. I see that little ICM just going every time it you push a button for anything. And then the next one is the sensor foster. Uh, we need several sensors to calculate the driver situation of the car and the driver's wish. Um, for example, lateral acceleration, longitudinal acceleration, yaw ratio, uh, engines, engine uh, speed, vehicle speed, and it's all connected to the ICM system. And you have the wheel rotation sensor. Uh, we use the wheel rotation sensor via the DSC system, which is also connected to the ICM to calculate the vehicle speed. And then the, the next one is the steering angle sensor. Uh, with the steering angle uh, sensor, we uh, we try to find out what the driver wants, so if he wants to go into a, a curve. Uh, engine management. Uh, with the engine management, which is also connected to the ICM, um, the ICM could calculate the driver's wish if he wants to accelerate or decelerate. And then you have, of course, your airbag. You have to have a control unit for that. Uh, with the airbag control unit, there is another sensor which uh, shows the ICM system the roll behavior of the car. The big one is the uh, dynamic stability control. The, the dynamic stability control is also connected to the ICM system and is uh, responsible for the brake interventions with all the four wheels. And lastly, but not least, is your X-Drive. Yeah, the X-Drive uh, is our system to uh, to change uh, uh, power to the front axle and the rear axle, and it's also actuated by the ICM. You're going to tell us about the dynamic performance, performance control. control. Yeah. And the dynamic performance control is is our new rear axle gear, uh, with which we have the possibility to uh, shift torque from uh, one side to the other side on the rear axle. And we're watching that in the video right now. Yeah, um, here you can see uh, the torque flow inside the gear box, in the, inside the rear gearbox, and switching torque from the left side to the right side. For example, uh, in a situation where one wheel tends to slip because of low friction, you shift the torque to the side where you have the higher friction to enhance traction. It looked like you could switch it back and forth as well, is that correct? Uh, yes, with the X-Drive system you are able to switch torque from the front axle to the rear axle and vice versa. To enhance driving dynamics you also shift uh, torque from the inner side to the outer side to make uh, the vehicle follow better to the steering of, of the driver. Now, you've been, you were testing this up in Sweden as well. Yeah, we did a lot of test work in Sweden because there we have the best possibilities to, to test the system on low frictions.
because of so much snow? Yeah, snow and, and ice. We do some testing on lakes, on frozen lakes. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it's, it's re really great conditions to, to develop the system. Did you have to do much calibration afterwards? Uh, it, most of my work was uh, calibration work to the system mm -hmm. to get the best driving experience to the driver, to get a, a good drivability of the car and a stable and safe um, driving performance. Looks like you did it. Jürgen Brock, thank you very much. You're welcome.